I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question based on quadratic functions. The question here is, the side of a square exceeds the side of another square by 4 cm and sum of the areas of the two squares is 400 cm square. Find the dimensions of the squares. So uh, let's say let the sides be let us say if it is x for the first one, the other one is x plus 4, right? x plus 4. So these are the two squares. Now, it says that the sum of the areas of the two squares is 400. So sum of areas means what? Area is side square, right? So it is x square plus x plus 4 whole square is equals to 400. Correct? So that gives you an equation for some of the areas of those two squares. Correct? Now, we need to just solve this. So let's expand. We have x square plus x square plus 2ab, which is 8x plus 16. We can bring 400 to this side, that is minus 400 equals to 0. 2x square plus 8x and uh, minus, we take away 16 from 400, that means 300. And if you take from 9, we get 4. And from 9, if you take away 384, equals to 0. Uh, to simplify, we can factor out 2. So if you factor out 2, you get x squared plus 4x and half of this. So 1, 9, 2 equals to 0. Now, at this stage, you can use quadratic formula, right? Or, so you can use quadratic formula. You can say x is equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 192 divided by 2 times 1, correct? So you could use this formula. That is one way you could do you could also factor. Now, I like to show you how to factor with big numbers. So what we are looking for is product of two numbers to be 192, which is negative, and the sum p plus q should be 4. How do we get these numbers? Now, that's a big thing. So what we can do is we can just factor this, right? If I divide by, let's say, 2, then what do we get? 2 times 9 is 18. We get 96, right? So 96, we could divide by, uh, so let's say 4, right? So 4 times 2 is 8, and 16, 4. And then we say, well, this could be divided further by 4 times 6, and so on, correct? So we have all this set of numbers to work with. Now, these numbers help us to find possible factors. So we have actually broken down to smaller numbers. Now we are looking for, when you multiply all these numbers, you'll get 192 for sure, but we need positive 4 when we add. So what is the combination which could give you positive 4? So we see from here that if we combine these two numbers, right, 4 times 4 is 16, and the other two is 12, right? So we have this set and the other set. Since we need a positive number here, we could split this into 16 and minus 12. Does it make sense to you? So 4 times 4 is 16 and 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. So now we can factor. So factoring I'll continue with. You can use the formula and the calculator. So we have here x since we have this combination 16 and 12 16 is positive right so we have plus 16 times x minus 12 equals to 0 now to make it 0 either x is equals to minus 16 or x is equals to 12 now minus 16 is not possible correct and therefore the possible answer is 12, right? So x, that is the value of x. Now, if 1 square is 12 
units, which is centimeters. The other one will be, so x plus 4 will be 12 plus 4, which is 16. So we get our answers, which is the dimensions of the squares are, so our answers are 12 centimeters and 16 centimeters. Does make sense to you? Correct? So these are the two squares whose dimensions are given to us and some of their areas will be 400. Correct? So that is how it could be solved. I hope that helps. Feel free to share my videos and if you like and subscribe, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.